Hello friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. Today I'm gonna take you along as I tackle my food storage room. Ooh, our recycle pile is getting bigger. These kids are driving me crazy! friends welcome back okay you all said in the comments of many videos that you were excited for me to clean out and organize the food storage room this is my food storage room or it could be considered a pantry um, this is where we keep our extra refrigerator our big standing freezer and then we put some shelves in this room for our food storage I've had our food storage room for years lots of videos on it I'll leave them all down below so what I need to do today is get things cleaner, just more picked up. Kind of went bananas after the holidays and I haven't really done anything with it. So we've been living off of our food storage for the last few months to really see how things are going, how, how much we have, how long does it stretch for. And I have to say that I'm close to six months of food here. Now this is rotating food that if we open up something new like a box cereal or crackers or another flour it goes into our pantry but this is like where we shop from so sales case slot sales you know um, I always say buy one grab two for later and that's where all this goes so we are constantly rotating through this food all the time nothing sits I'm always in here I know what's in here expiration dates and all that think some things are on the floors not put back up on the shelves what shopping a few times and things are just down here. Samuel Adams beer, yep, that's for my beef stew and pulled beef sandwiches. And I have a Costco haul that's still right here. Still right here in front of the door in a big pile that needs to get in this room. And my recent case slot sale, the video is down below for you. Uh, still on my dining room table that needs to get in this room. If you have an organizing project, maybe doing this with me, it'll give you, it'll give you the motivation you need to get going. So aprons on, let's go. Gotta have a trash bag. I'll put it on this hook of the door. So when I was decluttering the hall closet with all the blankets, I had all these bins. I don't know if I want to end up using them to store some of the food. So I will know in this video, if I don't end up using them, I'm going to donate these. But these are all Dollar Tree shoe boxes that I've used over the years. I've had these for a long time. And if I could find a way to make them a home here, I will. Okay, I have a spaghetti squash that I need to put in the pantry. Um, somehow it was left in here. And I have three grapefruit that I've been going through that needs to be used. So this will go in the fruit bowl. So behind this store is where we keep all of our paper goods and things so we got to get this straightened up as well so this corner needs some TLC some bags have been thrown in here our paper towels and a fan is in here why I don't know um, there are some buckets that I need to use up over here so I need to make better use of this corner so I was recently in our storage unit where we have all our decorations like Christmas Halloween all of it because we have no room here to store it um, I have in there all our buckets of wheat, oats, rice, beans, big buckets. So what I want to do is I want to go to the uh, storage unit, bring those buckets over and stack them in that corner. That way they're always here and I could start using my long term as well. I want to get them in here and out of the storage unit because what good is it doing to me there? What if something were to happen and we had no electricity? I mean, I have dried beans in here, but what if I could not get into that storage unit? I would go crazy if I couldn't get to my wheat. So I want to bring all that here. a better home for my food saver and all the bags so this we will find a home for today so right now I'm just going through trying to find trash to throw away first and then get all that out of the way so I'm gonna start straightening up some things here this is where I keep cereal and crackers I make sure 
any bins in the pantry need to be filled up, I can grab some cereal and put them in the bins. All right, I'm just filling up these cereal boxes. This one is Cheerios. We have a bag halfway open. I'll put that on top, so we'll use that first. So I went by which box expiration is closer. We love Cheerios in our home. I wouldn't say we care for all the flavoring, but we are huge fans of Honey Nut Cheerios and their cinnamon one. Have you guys had their new cinnamon one? Good. And this will go in the recycling bin. I have a feeling there'll be a lot of stuff from that food room going to the recycling bin. I'm just gonna create a pile right there. I'll put this bag in. Whoops. I got these cereal bins at Walmart. Opens up, pour yourself a bowl. Mm. Okay, I had some mini shredded wheat. So I'm gonna go grab another bag and put them in here and put those on top. As I do this, I am going to put in my phone things that I see that we need. This is the last bag in this box. I'll make sure I put on my list this cereal. My kids will go phases with cereal. Either they're on like an egg, oatmeal, bacon eggs kick, or um, just a cereal kick. They're now getting back into their cereal kick. Now I have an extra one that I could wash out and put back in the pantry. So when another bulk cereal that we have, we could put it in it. This is moving to the pantry. Breakfast. I got my stool because I'm a shorty. So this box is October 2021. And this one is December 2021. This will be first. That goes behind. So what are you doing? Cleaning. For a trip or somewhere. All right. Mom. Oh. Oh, wait, Mom. Okay, what do you got? Fishies. Oh, cheese? I think what I'm gonna do with the cheese it's in, is put them in that cereal container. There should be two bags in here. We go through phases with snacks. Like I'll go forever without buying the cheese it, and then they're like, "Can we get cheese it?" I'm like, "Sure." Ever since the kids were little, like fish, fish crackers, the fishies we call them, have always been in our home. I like the white cheddar, and my oldest teenage son loves the four cheese snacks. I get asked a lot, what do you do for the neighbor kids that come over and eat your food? I don't know where I learned this from, but you create a snack bin or snack drawer for your neighbors. So when they come over, you say, just so you know, if you ever want a snack, this is the snack bin. And you may grab anything from this. And if they don't like it, they can go home and get a snack. Because I did have one little boy say, I don't like that. It's like, well, go home and get a snack and come on back. And so that way, if there's things you don't want eaten up right away or don't really care about, give them to the neighbor kids. So something like this is a great neighbor treat. Ooh, our recycle pile is getting bigger. Okay, so up here I have a box of microwave popcorn. This is also a very good, um, a very good snack for the neighbors to have, the neighbor kids. So I'm filling up this bucket. It hasn't been filled up for a while and they've just been grabbing from way up here. So this will go back in the pantry. Oh, I hate being short. This can go in the recycling bin as well. Okay, so these builder bars I grabbed from, um, these are from Cliff. These are from Costco. The peanut butter ones, the chocolate peanut butter, are good. The mint ones, this is a really good source of protein. It's low glycemic, gluten free, which my body does really, really good on. Another thing I'm loving for protein bars right now are built bars i've got a whole case of them that we're going to make room for in the refrigerator because they are delicious cold really good 
I have some soft and chewy bars from Costco. I'm gonna fill this one up. Got a Michelob. <laughs> These kids are driving me crazy! No, that was the last one from the Michelob package for our beef stew. A sparkling cider left over from the holidays. And I do have some soda boxes to put up here. We got on a crazy soda kick during the pandemic, during the shutdown. I don't know if it was stress or what. <laughs> but during the shutdown, Coke Zero Caffeine Free came into existence. And these out here in Utah are very, very hard to find. Here is where I keep the ramen and the broths. <clears throat> I'm gonna move this big chicken stock here. Have another one. This is July 16, 21. And this is, okay, September. So September goes in the back, July goes in the front. I go through a lot of these when I do my big soups. Then, so this is the Food Club chicken broth that I already had, and this expires October 25th, 21, and this one is 12.04.22. So, that has to go at the bottom, so these get used up first. Okay. This is the one I've been already using out of and then I have my beef broth so these cans here on top expire May 6 21 or best buy best if used by they don't expire but May 21 and these are 10 22 so that's why these are at the bottom and these are all up top so I didn't grab any beef broth plus I don't think I saw any there because I have this full one and this full one, but there was a sale that Macy's was having, I don't know, maybe a month ago, and their beef broth was like super cheap. I'm going to work on this shelf, which is all my tomatoes. All right, all the tomatoes and tomato soup are brought in. Oh, and so one of you made a comment saying, oh, watch out for the Campbell's tomato soup it has high fructose corn syrup and you're right I usually get the store brand and it doesn't have that in there so thank you because I haven't bought Campbell's tomato soup in a long time I've been buying store brands so thank you but we're gonna use it up right I bought it we're gonna use it so now I'm gonna make room for all these tomatoes so right here so this is the food club brand they didn't unless I didn't see it there but I could have walked by it um, it just has sugar. It doesn't have the um, high fructose corn syrup. So, Okay, so these are Best Buy December of 2020. That was like, what, three months ago? So these are being used first. These should be used within the next two months, probably. I already have a package of tomato soup back there, but I grabbed that new one. But I want to see what this says. This was on sale at Costco, April of 2022. And these are December 2022 so I gotta put these in there now I do go through a lot of these when I'm pumping out my shepherd's pie freezer freezer meals and we love tomato soup with sandwiches so I won't be buying tomato soup at all again for 2021 not at all Unless by some crazy thing we're flying through them, but I know we're family and we won't be. So when it's time to donate, I always give tomato soup. I, th I think it's definitely a, a good one to donate out and it's hearty. Whenever my um, daughter and her husband come over, I'm always saying, do you need something? Go shop the food room. So they're welcome to anything in the freezer and they're welcome to anything on the shelves. Next over here, because it's a soup, 
We went from like ramen to broths to soup. This is the cream soup. So this is like the cream of mushroom and the cream of celery soups. And then we move into tomatoes. Okay, my cream of mushroom soups has an expiration date of 2018. But if you go look online, a ton of sites will tell you that most of these cream soups or anything really can't if it says anything like best buy best if used you know um, anything best buy anything with that saying on it it's when it's at its highest peak so this was at its best peak until november 2018. you can go like three to five years and so i've been doing this for years and we've been fine so here um they just want you to make sure that it's not dented, it's not leaking, and it's not bloating. You'll definitely see bloating at the bottom. But these cans are perfect if they're always in a nice, cool area. And then we bought the other cans the other day. I want to get those under here, and these will be used first. I won't have to buy cream of celery soup for a long time. We mainly use cream of celery in our stroganoff. That's like the one thing we mainly use it in. I have other recipes, but that's the main go-to one. So I'm gonna move these out. So I will use two cans per recipe. I And I can make those into freezer meals. So I can make this two, four, six, eight, ten 10 times right here, but usually when I double it for a freezer meal, that's one free freezer meal section, one freezer, like it goes quick. So this is why when you're meal planning, you're, use, you're meal planning from your food storage. And I have some cream of chickens for Derek and I'm gonna put in this box. I'm just gonna make sure I pay attention once I get done with these that I've got cream of chicken here. Cause they're the same looking, see? I was down to one can of stewed tomatoes, so I bought more stewed tomatoes at that sale. We use this a lot in a lot of our big hearty soups and chilies, so. We don't nearly use the cream of mushroom like we used to. I've been using more cream based but these are fantastic go-to's. I'll never diss a cream of mush can cream of mushroom ever. October 2022. I bought two on the sale at Thanksgiving time. It's either at Costco or Sam's Club, I can't remember. So I stocked up then. That's why I didn't buy any at that K-Slot sale the other day. October 2022, they're both, okay. So we'll keep that one back there. Keep this one back there and I was going through this box um, during the holidays Ooh, I have so much cardboard sorry Paige all right so I have this, these two need to get used first and then these mushrooms and then I have these other soups that I'll bring forward for those recipes and I need to see them. I'm always in here looking to see what I have so I know what I, meals I can make. If these are hidden, the broccoli and cheese and French onion, obviously they went to a recipe. I don't remember what the recipe is, which means um, then I will go and look for recipes that call for broccoli cheese soup or French onion soup and incorporate them, find a recipe and incorporate them in our meal plan. Because I don't remember anymore. Maybe when I go through my recipes, I'll find it, but I mean, if I didn't print it out, it's somewhere lost on the internet that I saw it somewhere. So these need to find recipes to make and make a meal for the family. Okay, and then I do have here some chicken noodle soups. And they don't expire till 2022. All right, and then we'll get into the tomatoes. So I have all my tomato sauces here. This whole section is tomato sauce so these are good until September 2022 these Costco ones are good till April 2021 and then I have my tomato paste and my Rotel okay so now on the, I'm I'm noticing how we're utilizing these shelves this shelf has a lot of the stuffing the taco shells um, some box rice things 
So I think I'm going to play with this some more and bring the tomatoes out more this way as well. And I'll rework this. So I'm always in here trying to figure out how to make most of the space. Um, but I went big on that last case slot sale because it was in the budget and I decided to go big this time and not go back out later. All right, so stewed tomatoes. And I have my one last can that we'll use first. So I'm gonna have to get in here and make kind of chaos before I could bring it to order. Here's my diced tomatoes, and here's my petite diced. I'm gonna put these above the stewed tomatoes. Um, on this run, I knew I was low on petite diced, but I ended up just getting diced. I might go back out and get another palette of the petite, because I like using the petite in my meatloaf, but it's fine, my meatloaf does great in the diced as well, but um, there's some recipes I'd rather have the petite diced, so I'm, all, I'm down to five cans of those. I knew I should listen to my gut when I was in there. So I have these di these diced, which are good till January 23. And these that I got from Costco and two left over in this box from Smith's are April 2023. So what else? All right, I'll get these on here. tomatoes from pastine tomatoes that I ordered from the company for my gravy in here all packaged up nice but oh but I also right here could put the box of crushed tomatoes that I bought from that sale too okay I gotta go get those so here's the crushed so if I do go get petite dice I'm not gonna get a double decker like this I'm just gonna get a box that I could put on top of these stewed and add more this way so I won't get a double decker. So there's room if I decide to go get more petite diced. All right, here's my fruit section that I kind of had here. I'm gonna have to put the fruit up in here. So I'm gonna move this around. I swear, this project grows because yes, you're putting stuff away on the shelves, but you have, for me, there's a system like, I kind of like things in categories and I want all fruits, all every, you know, so when I'm in here, it's boom, boom, boom. I don't have to like, because I'll fill up my apron full of cans and then go cook. So down here is where I would keep, so below the soups, all my spaghetti sauces and stuff, but maybe I'll just move them over to that space for right now. I like to keep like things with light things, but this is where I keep all the box pasta right below it. See? So that's why the sauces are here. Oh look, I have a check cereal that fell down. Whoops. Whenever pasta is on sale, I grab pasta. I always have to have orzo, always. So I have that full of pasta. And then I get into, on this section, the canned veggies that go here and here. All right, I'm gonna figure this out and then I'll share with you what I did. All right, here are all the sauces for like pastas and things. And I put all the vegetables up here. So I didn't realize when I bought the green beans that they were French cut. Usually don't buy French cut. We always just get cut green beans. But you know, maybe the kids will like these better heated up with butter and, and seasoning on better than the green beans. It's not like we have green beans at a lot of our meals, but sometimes the kids are like, we have green beans so like 
If the kids want spaghetti and meatballs for dinner, usually they want green beans. If I don't have any of the frozen to saute up, then we'll use the canned green beans. All right, I got French, not a big deal. And I have one more of cut back there. So those are cut green beans and these are cut green beans so we're good for a while. And then I have my cream style corn and then the new corn here and then there's one more corn back there. And so we are set for quite a while. So now I'm moving on to the beans because I have beans left up out on the table from the hall. So I've got to create a system. Maybe I can finish getting them all on here. Got to make this work. Got to make things snug. Okay, all the beans are on. And then the refried beans are down here. And now I've got to mess around with this shelf too. And this shelf. There's not much change I could do over here. I don't think so. So I got to make the rest of what I have work on these shelves and then get the floor done. So here I have tuna fish and I put the big new box of tuna fish in the back and then these are all our clams for clam chowder and then there's two cans of shrimp. I'm going to move some of these back and I have shrimp for our shrimp dip here and then I have all this canned chicken and these are great for casseroles. So I've got the chickens, the canned chickens, the clams, the shrimp, and the tuna all in this little nook right here. Now I'm going to mess around with the fruit section because I've got some pears and mandarin oranges. I've got this box of mandarin oranges. My kids are on a mandarin orange kick right now. Isn't it funny how like, you go through phases with snacks or food? It was like we took a break from tuna fish for a while and now we're like back in it with the tuna fish sandwiches. I like it, uh, like I'll make my tuna fish and I'll add like tomatoes in there and pickles and celery and red onions and then I'll eat it with like a stick of celery or my rice crackers on my or my almond crackers if I don't want it in um, bread. So and we're going through tuna a lot right now. We're in our tuna phase for sure. I love tuna fish. These mandarin oranges in the box are January 3rd, 2022. And these cans are, oh, I didn't even notice that in the store. These are this year. But like I said, Best Buy, you've got three to five years on these cans. If there's no dents or bulging, remember that. So I'll be using these first before these. And these peaches go until 23. So these peaches up here will be finished getting used first. Uh, I do need more apple sauces. I do want to learn how to make apple sauce. Maybe that'll be my goal for this fall, but applesauce you could substitute your oils for when you're baking. That's a good thing to have on hand. Between making dinner for my family, this could be a two-day thing. Tomorrow's Saturday, so I'll hit and finish it. Making progress, right? Making progress. Welcome to day two. It is Saturday and I'm going to finish this baby right now. So um, I'm going to clean out the corner. Derek and the boys are going to head to storage, bring back the barrels that we have there and we'll put them in the corner. I need to put in the pile that's right here in the hall, all the Ziploc bags onto the paper grid shelf behind this door and finish this floor, finish having that shelf look better. Just a little organizing tweaking and i'll sweep and mop and we are done in here i'm so excited all right it's making big progress and it feels so so good
buckets are being brought in. All right, so we're taking inventory and I'm putting it on the sheet for right now. With the wheat buckets I recently have purchased at Costco, we have seven wheat total, one big bucket of dry milk, one dark red kidney bean, one pinto bean, one quick rolled oats, one lentils, and one black turtle bean. All right, we got the buckets in. This is how it looks. This is our long-term food storage, but we do crack into it. Um, we, ha we look at the expiration dates and start using it. So we go through the wheat more than anything. So these were, um, I think 2007, these buckets were filled. So, but your beans and your rice are gonna last a long time. I do have the oats up close uh, to go th start going through the oats. So this is considered our long-term food storage. I do have a video on that if you would like to see. So I'm going to put our paper towels on here because I have nowhere else to put them. And there we go, most excellent. I also have some toilet paper down there. That is um, our emergency toilet paper from Costco. Um, all the toilet paper that we get goes in to the hall closet and I always make sure that that's filled up when it's low I go to Costco and grab another one but that's the emergency backup toilet paper I'm wondering if I should move it off the ground and move it up here so I could put more cleaning items under there yeah I think that's what I'll do all right the toilet paper is out from under there the cleaners can go under there any more sprays I get I'm out of cleaning sprays I'll put them under there so we have my laundry detergent dishwashing detergent garbage bags Lysol wipes and I'm keeping this pretzel container because you can store dried beans and things in there as well so I'm gonna hold on to it if I don't use it by the end of the year I'll toss it and then our paper towels and our backup toilet paper Okay, they found in the car, they forgot another wheat and another dry milk. So we've got one dry milk in the way back and then one up front that we could start going through and another wheat. So we have eight wheat and two dry milk. Okay, um, keeping the napkins up there, they work better. Use that vertical space. Have some plastic cups. These are the ice cream bins that freeze your soup perfectly. So we have some of those on hand. And then all of my freezer mail um, pans. All right here. So I decided to take those shoe boxes and recycle them and use them for the plastic knives, forks, and spoons. I had the big like Costco boxes and I put them in here. Um, eventually I will need another spoon one, but for right now, here you go. So I made use and got those big boxes out of the way and used those shoe boxes. So now it's kind of convenient because if we need to take the forks to outside for a barbecue or something, we could just take this whole bin. And then a space for paper plates there, and there, and more cups or paper plates right here. So we have plenty of space for paper plates. And I'm liking how this is looking now. And here's all the Ziploc bags, the freezer gallon, quarts, and sandwich baggies. So we are good for quite a while. So in this corner, when you come into the food room, was just filled with bags like shoved on the side here. I was looking through my stuff and I found some command hooks. So, I'm going to start high and put like, I think I'll put a hook here and a hook there and a hook somewhere over here. I don't know, but I'm going to make this work. Decided to put one behind the door. Derek was smart. I wasn't even thinking behind the door. Then one up there. We have a bag issue. I just took all the bags off the top of the freezer and refrigerator. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to make some hard decisions. It's by likeness, it works. As you can see, I don't have like a lot of packaged food. Like we have some rice packets and cauliflower rice packets and fried onions, but there's not a whole lot. Um, I do have taco shells and stuffing for our stuffed up 
casserole. So there's not a lot of boxed food other than that and then the rice cauliflower here and the mac and cheese back here. Down below I've got some coconut milk that I'm using in my shakes. Down here are some canning things with my salt for ice cream, salt in general, extra meds. I do have a backup of meds. Um, all the potato stuff and beans that I'm going to be food savoring up is right there. Um, here is some uh, food storage things like my, my hand crank mill to crank my wheat. All the cleaning supplies here. Baking. Baking. <laughs> dessert stuff here. Condiments up here. Derek's going to put one of these across here. So if we get a little earthquake like we did last year, um, these won't fall and the jars won't break. So he's going to put that up. Up here we have the Thrive, Thrive Life, all of my freeze-dried food, and then, is it Gusta Farms? August, what is that called? Agassin Farms? I can never... Big food containers up there. One of our 72-hour kits is up there. And then our long-term food storage. This is bread flour I'm going through now. I have some in a bucket. Once that bucket um, empties, I'll dump that in. And then my paper towels, all our long-term food storage an extra bag of food for Paige on deck ready for her you got to have stuff for your dogs here all your animals and then cleaning supplies down here and then our freezer our fridge and all the paper goods picnic needs this holds our um, plates and forks and such down and there's my food saver and all the bags this is a tray to hold three plates for parties have some paper bags back there and then the big Costco bags on the back of the door the big storage freezer bags when I go to the bulk stores they're up there and then up here all the bags for bulk shopping as well I put the cooler bags here the big cooler backpacks with an Ikea bag right here it is done. The food room is done. Phew. <laughs> no chaos in here. Feels good. Feels really good. So if you have a project that you have been avoiding, put your apron on and tackle. Do 15 minutes a day or an hour, but set a timer and don't start what you can't finish. All right, make progress. Doesn't need to be perfect. I am so happy that it's done because I really haven't gone through this room since we moved in like really gone through it so this felt really good all right friends thank you so much for joining me leave in the comments below what you're working on right now what are you trying to tackle what you would like to get motivated on to tackle i love to know what you're working on all right friends thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you soon bye